Off the bat, did you think Aaron Hicks had any shot at that ball? Um, once I looked up and caught exactly where he was, I thought he was tracking pretty well. But obviously, I knew I knew Kepler hit it pretty well. But I mean, what an amazing play to to end an amazing game. Fitting for a game that went the way that it went tonight with so many lead changes late in the game. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I mean. That's one of those games, you know, for being late July that, you know, we'll probably be talking about for a long time. And, I mean, <clears throat> our guys are just really, really good at competition. And that was the ultimate competition out there where it was obviously tough for both teams on the mound. And um, so many guys did some really, really special things. We could hear them in there as we were waiting to come in here as loud as they've been all season long. What can an emotional win like this do for a team as you continue to grind through a long season? Um, you know what? They're, they're, they're a united group that plays with the game with a lot of confidence and you know think wins like these that come along you know you have these kind of special days where it's unconventional um, where so many guys have a hand in it um, it's just one of those things that I think does help you bring bring guys together a little bit but as far as what it does for us I don't think it changes anything as far as what our expectations are and what every guy in that room expects of this of this club you mentioned the fact that several guys had a big hand in tonight's win Didi Gregorius a big part of it five hits drove in seven of the runs what led to his success in the batter's box you know I mean smoked every ball too um, made, had a walk in there too uh, made some spe almost <clears throat> an incredible double play to end that game um, it was really good to see him just barrel the ball up all over the ballpark line to line um, right in the middle of everything obviously and a big reason why it's it's noisy in there right now what happened to Gary and how is he Gary growing um, we'll continue to look at it but possible IL we have an MRI uh, he, um, he will in the morning yeah just pulled up there from the first is that what yeah I yeah just you know getting it down the line uh, on another you know Polanco makes two amazing plays on on Gary there um, and just getting it down the line you know look like he hit the bag a little bit funny Pitching rough for, for both sides tonight. Different issues for different guys on, on your side. Why do you think collectively it was just a rough night? Yeah, I mean, just one of those nights, you know, especially for our guys that are, you know, obviously been so dominant. You know, you're going to have those over the course of 162 where, you know, guys hit a little bump in the road here and there. And it just, it was a tough night out there. And, um, but guys kept picking picking each other up and and those guys that we've leaned on so heavily especially at the back end have picked us up time and time again this year so I mean that's what makes it fun to be a part of this team in this group Specifically, I mean, what have you seen from him this month and his third blown save in July and um, mm, well it looks like you wanted to stick with him even though he was kind of struggling yeah tonight I mean he just obviously one of those nights where you know he loses loses the command um, and loses the the strike throwing, you know, and and every now and then, you know, we'll he'll have that. But we've also seen him um, this year in, in one of those blown saves still work his way through it in Tampa. He was able to to rein it in tonight and get out of the inning and keep it tied. So um, I like the fact that he just continued to compete, continued to pitch when it was obviously really tough for him there for for the first few hitters. What are you thinking? Of leaving in the inning to him or at a certain point where you're going to have to get someone else? Yeah, no, it was at that point it was him because we were down to the last two hitters regardless. And um, I was I was going with him and I felt like I felt like he reined it in a little bit there after those those first few hitters. Was six OK after that catch? Uh, yeah, yeah. got his cape off and he's, <laughs> he's good to go. <laughs> What did you see from Herman? Um, I, I thought I thought he came out. I thought his stuff was pretty good early. Um, I thought they took some really good at bats against him, especially down at the bottom of the order, where he couldn't finish them. Um, you know, they had some guys work some walks against him, work some base hits. You know, where pitches out of the strike zone. Um, 
you know, I, I, I give them a lot of credit for, for really having really tough at bats against them. And then I think, you know, by the end there, I think it, it really started to flatten out. And I, you know, I kind of, you know, it's a no there, you know, just because we've had so many sh these last few trying to get some innings out of the starters. Um, but probably with Sano there, uh, probably should add him out of there. Do, do you like 26 run games with a bunch of home runs, or is this nerve wracking? Um, I like them when we win them. Um, you know, to to be a part of that in, in there right after this, after so many people grinded and and, and battled, um, those are fun things to be a part of. But I mean, these.